Welcome back to another monthly roundup. This video is sponsored by Movie. More on that in a bit. The holidays are coming up and every year I make a gift guide. So if you have any unique gift um, ideas, let me know and I'll try to include them in my video in like two weeks or so. In ceramics, I made this. I hand built this on my um, picnic table out front and it's just a little like I would use it for sauce, to be quite honest. So like if you're going to a holiday potluck, I feel like this would be pretty good to carry a sauce in or a gravy and have like a little spoon on the side or something like that. So if you're interested in winning this, I am going to post a photo or post this photo right here on my Instagram. And if you wanna win it, go find this photo on Instagram. And um, I'll also link it in the description and leave a comment with your favorite emoji just like every month and um, I'll pick a winner in one week. I'm also making a lot of inventory to update my ceramics um, stock on ceramwrap.com but if you happen to be in person um, at the Museum of Contemporary Art in San Diego, um, I have a bunch of stuff there and also Lilu. Lafayette um, in New Orleans. I'm gonna update the website so that you can see where you can buy everything, just in case. Also, um, uniform videos. I'm gonna move them to shorts and TikTok. I feel like they're short enough to be a YouTube short and also a short TikTok video. And it gets the point across and I feel like it's less um, intimidating for me to film and I wanna crank out more of them so I'm moving them there. If you don't already know, I have a TikTok that I update pretty regularly and it's a little bit more personal than um, my long form videos on YouTube because it's like more glimpses of my life and stuff. So you'll see a lot of like cat videos or um, I guess now my, um, my outfit videos. Also on TikTok, there's a perfume or fragrance expert named Steven Kantarski and he makes these magical, like incredible storytelling short videos about perfumes, the story behind the packaging, the story behind the scent. And I've always loved smelling perfume on other people, but I always forget to wear it on myself. And so after watching a bunch of his videos and like listening to his descriptions, it seems so much more romantic than just a scent, you know, it's almost like telling a story about a person and whatnot. So I've been playing around with scents and um, just trying to mix stuff. And I started using this one right here. This is Prada Paradox and it's the intense version. It's kind of sweet, but I love mixing this with a more smoky scent. You can also get a refill bottle because this packaging is so beautiful and everything. You can get a refill bottle and refill this two more times. So it cuts the cost and you're saving the bottle as well. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. And speaking of fragrance, I had a crazy yard sale, not a yard sale, I guess it's like a market at my house because um, I don't know, I just felt like throwing one in my neighbor in the back also goes to the ceramic studio that I go to. So we got a bunch of our friends from the studio and a bunch of other people too, all together. And um, yeah, we just like kind of laid my front yard down the driveway down to her front yard, middle yard, and backyard. And yeah, I think we had like 20 vendors. We also had my sister make coffee and my other sister selling plants and stuff. And it was super fun, Maddie was there as well. But at that market, um, one of the members of the ceramic studio, her name is Joan Gray. She's also a makeup artist, but also a candle maker. And so I got this candle from her and it's called Topanga Rain. So she had these all lined up perfectly and you can sniff all of them. And I gravitated towards this one immediately. And there's musk, linen, cedar, and geranium. And it's, it's so nostalgic to me and I don't know what it is. And it comes with this really cool um, wooden top so that you can you know, keep the scent just contained if you're storing it away. But I also use it as a coaster for the scent like on my table. Oh, so I got these glasses a little while ago um, and I'm wearing them every day and they're so comfortable and I have a prescription in them and they're slightly yellow because the original frame has yellow lenses. The reason why I got these is because it was so dry in LA about a month ago. My contacts were killing me. I was on the hunt for a new pair of glasses. I went to 
um, another studio friend, she works at an eyewear shop. So she's like, yeah, just come in and I'll help you pick something out. So I went there and they had so many selections, like so many vintage frames and new frames. And I kind of just got overwhelmed, right? So then I went home, I went on Pinterest, found so many things and I found this one photo in particular and I really like the frames. And on Pinterest, you can go to this tab called shop and it shows you familiar, or no, no, not familiar, similar items. So I looked at all the similar items, it didn't pop up and I had no idea who made those frames that she was wearing. There are other frames that look very similar but not quite right. And also I know my measurements pretty well so I knew that some of them didn't fit. So I texted Nick and I was like, hey, do you know who makes this or do you know where I can find something that's similar? And he responded right away. He was like, hey, those are Gucci. And I think I have them and if I find them, they're yours. And I was so surprised. I didn't think he would find them, but a couple days later he did find them. And he was like, yeah, you can have them. I just don't have the case for them. And so he gave them to me and I'm gonna make him an endless amount of ceramics. Yeah, I love these frames. The only thing that I'm not like too keen on is that on the side of them, it says Gucci and gold. I wish it didn't say that. And it's kind of embossed like into it. So I don't know, I might find a way to like wipe that off maybe like I don't, also don't want like the shine of this to go away if I use acetone on it or something, you know? So hopefully it will eventually just like rub off. I just don't like brands or labels like everywhere. Um, but yeah, I've been wearing my hair like this. So you don't really see it as much, but whenever I do have my hair tied back, I feel like I'm like flexing Gucci, you know what I mean? Not really into that. Look at these earrings, aren't they so cute? These are from year 901. I just got these. Um, she sent me these and this set right here. This is so cute. So I've been wearing this set right here, the double jade earrings. She came out with these a couple years ago, or maybe even a few years ago, for uh, Lunar New Year, I believe. And I love them. I love wearing jade. And so I kind of warmed to death and every single time um, I wear them, I always get compliments on them and people always ask me where I get them. and. I just, I love her jewelry. But she came out with this, which is a little bit smaller. Oh, I think this is so cute and I can't wait to wear these. But I really love her totem earrings, which is this style right here. And they're a little bit different from each other. Um, and she has other ones that are fantastic too. And I remember that she made some with um, dead stock beads. There's a sense of urgency there because that means that she won't come up with the same design over and over again. So if you want, something get it right away how pack makes these water bottle purses this is the one i have and it's perfect they also make it in black and brown if you want like a more um everyday kind of coloring so i really like the idea of this because not only does it fit my nalgene like my full-size nalgene you can also fit a bottle of wine or whatever um but it fits that in there and it's insulated so it will keep it cool or temperature controlled um, but it also has a zippered pocket in the front that fits my phone perfectly. And then there's also three side pockets for quick access of whatever you need. So it's pretty awesome. I mean, if you're looking for something that you can wear every day, I would say go for the black or brown one. The brown one's so beautiful. I love this. And the straps are adjustable and whenever I have this on me, I drink way more water than when I don't have it on me. I mentioned in a previous video that I love the Cause Porta Pro headphones. These guys right here, I think they're around, I don't know, like $40, $50. Um, but just recently I updated the pads to thicker pads from like a brand from Japan. You can also get orange ones if you want like the classic retro look, but I love how these look and how they sound. It's fantastic. So if you're looking for headphones, I think these would make a really good gift. So definitely adding that to the gift guide. If you already have these, try updating the pads. They are fantastic. And then there's shrimp paste or shrimp sauce. Um, I grew up eating this and it's kind of gnarly. I remember Anthony Bourdain talking about it and he loves it, but he was like, it'll send your eyebrows off if you like smell it. I know it smells gnarly, but what I've been using this in, I mean like obviously sauces and stuff, but um, I've been trying to incorporate it into like soups. And then also um, I like to saute my vegetables and instead of using salt, I'll use like a little bit of fish sauce or anchovies. Um, 
But then I started just incorporating a little bit of this and it is a game changer. So it's nice and salty, but it adds an umami that you can't really beat. So I would say if you want to try this out, don't just like take a scoop of it and put it directly in your mouth. You have to use it as a condiment. Use it sparingly and then build up your tolerance for it and incorporate it in ways that you would incorporate anchovies. Really just try it out. It says it's great for marinating, steaming, seasoning, and stir frying. Definitely use it for stir fry because fantastic. And again, this video is brought to you by Mubi. Mubi is a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the world. From iconic directors to emerging auteurs, there's always something new to discover. With Mubi, each and every film is hand-selected by a team of curators. Discover the best of cinema at your fingertips, streaming anytime, anywhere. Mubi is great for lovers of great cinema and for those who don't know they love great cinema yet. You can try Mubi free for 30 days when you go to mubi.com slash Christine, also linked in the description, obviously. So I got to watch passages through Mubi Go in the theaters, um, but it's also available for streaming now. So it was hella juicy. I don't wanna give it all away, so I'm gonna read the synopsis real quick. It's Thomas and Martin are a gay couple living in Paris whose marriage is thrown into crisis when Thomas impulsively begins a passionate affair with a young school teacher, Agathe. But when Martin begins an affair of his own, Tomas must confront life decisions he may be unprepared or unwilling to deal with. I thought it was incredible. I love how it's sort of a slice of life film. Very artfully done, obviously. I love the way that they staged the homes. It's timeless, but also modern. It kind of reminds me of French New Wave, but it's current day. So again, everything is linked in the description, movie.com slash Christine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any suggestions for unique gift ideas, please let me know and I'll try to get a video up in the next couple of weeks um, with my holiday roundup for gifts. See you next time.